This is Tim Calloway, and this is the Guitar Puddle Review. Today we're looking at the Super Octave OC3. I've got my chicken pick, and I'm playing a guitar from Attila Guitars. And I'm also using the Padcaster to record today, which is holding an iPad. I will be doing a full review of that product here in the next few weeks. But today, let's look at the Octave OC3. And what we have is a direct level, an octave level, a range octave 2 level knob, with, which also controls the drive. And um, we've got an input for guitar and bass, a direct out, and an output mono. And uh, this is our mode switch over here, which we have the poly. And this is uh, your octave 2 here and then into your overdrive there. We'll start on the poly mode. And um, I think the reason why the uh, pedal has gotten some pretty bad reviews is because it, it kind of does get lost with the guitar as far as uh, following the octave. And I'll explain that as we go through. Forgot to mention that I am using Spicer pickups in this Attila guitar. Here's my clean channel. <laughs> I've got the pedal in the poly mode, and what that is doing is is taking your E, A, and D string, and there's where you're going to be able to hear the octave really coming in uh, real strong. But when it gets down on that third string, the octave is not there. And it's pretty clean there, not too bad. The octave is not real shaky. So I think what that mode is made for is if you were to put a loop down, you could put your loop. And then solo over that loop. Alrighty, now let's go into the octave two mode. Here's where the trouble begins right here. Here's an, just let me put an open string. Not too bad. Yeah, it kind of shook there a little bit, but let's go down. To me, it was pretty successful there. I thought it was sounding really good, even with the bend up. Kind of got lost there a little bit. You can hear it just a little bit there, but I think the real trouble happens when this octave one is moved into the mix. bad there way it's a little too loud for me let's pull down the octave one really crashing right there. Let's pull the octave one all the way down. Still crashing out a little bit there. You can really hear it. To me, the product, um, 
not really sure what to say about it. It's kind of cool with, uh, let's throw a fuzz in. <laughs> That's pretty cool, but I must say the pedal is getting lost all over the place. The poly mode is pretty much, I guess the best part of it is uh, the poly mode. And then you got to... All right, so let's go back. Let's go back. Let's turn this up. And well, not the direct level. Let's keep that there. The octave one straight up. We're in the poly mode. Let's see what the octave one does here. Okay, so they're back again to the problems. Pull the octave one out. I can't do that because that affects the poly mode. So you gotta just barely mix it in there. Let's move it a little further up. Well. convinced that um, that it doesn't belong on the board. I hate to say that about anybody's company, but um, it's a pretty much uh, it's pretty much a bum deal. It's a uh, I thought it was going to be an upgrade to their from their OC2, but it just uh, it's not standing the test. So I do not recommend the product to anyone. Uh, we'll move on to the next boss product which I am uh, a little more uh, optimistic about it being something you can keep long-term. This is Tim Calloway, just trying to keep it real. Have a great day. <laughs>